The Elgato Stream Deck is a customizable device which is mainly used for live streaming. Each key is a tiny LCD screen that can have custom icons and functions set. This makes it an ideal device to adapt and use for a gaming button box. To design a box to hold the device, measurements are taken along the edges of the Stream Deck. From this, a 3D model of the box is created to house the Stream Deck and six additional rotary encoders. Once the design is complete, the parts are 3D printed. The box top is also 3D printed, but this part can be made and cut from real carbon fibre, painted or wrapped with a carbon vinyl. The 3D printed part is placed on a piece of carbon vinyl, which is cut out slightly larger than the required size. This is positioned and wrapped over the front cover. Gentle heat is applied to soften the vinyl, which will help shape it around the edges and the corners. To finish the wrap, any excess vinyl on the back is trimmed with a small knife. Then the holes are cut out for the encoders. For additional functions, the box is designed to hold rotary encoders which are placed below the stream deck. These encoders are wired and controlled via an Arduino Pro Micro. The six encoders are installed to the front cover and then the nuts are installed and tightened. Next wires are cut to length and soldered to the encoder terminals and the Pro Micro. Each encoder is wired to the Pro Micro via the corresponding numbers shown in the diagram. For example, the first encoder connects TX to TX, RX to RX, and ground to ground for the rotary function. Then A3 to A3 and 14 to 14 for the push button function. A rubber grommet to protect the cables exiting the back of the box is 3D printed using a flexible filament. This is installed by pressing it into the hole on the back of the box. The USB cable which is used for the Pro Micro board is passed through the back of the box. On the stream deck, the attached cable is tucked underneath, then it is placed into the box. The cable is then passed out through the back of the rubber grommet. The USB cable we installed earlier is now plugged into the Pro Micro board. Then the top cover is closed and the outer bolts are installed around the edges. The encoder knobs are 3D printed. These then have a small grub screw installed into the side of each knob. Once installed, tightening the small screws on the knobs will secure them to the encoders. Next is to upload the Pro Micro board with a custom sketch. This allows the encoders to operate on a PC as an input device. 
Once the upload to the board is complete, the rotation and push function on all the encoders can be tested by viewing the device properties. The encoder functions are now ready to be mapped in-game. These can be used for adjusting volume, ABS, traction control, or anything else that uses a rotary input. Setting up the Stream Deck is completed through the included software. There are shortcut actions in the menu that can be assigned to the keys for launching apps, websites, screen capture recording, or any other required functions. The main setting to use for the button box is the hotkey action. This is used to assign the keyboard shortcuts that correspond with the game in use. For example, a key can be assigned to F1, which can be used to change camera views in game. A custom icon is composed using the Elgato Online Key Creator. There are endless possibilities for the key icon creation and for assigning key functions. Text, images and coloured backgrounds can be quickly layered to create the desired icon. By dragging and dropping the icons, layouts can be quickly repositioned. Multiple profiles can be set up so you can have quick access to custom layouts for different games. The Stream Deck makes for a customizable device which can have further functionality added by creating a button box with encoders.